What's up everyone, back for another beer review and today is Thanksgiving here in the US. So if you're celebrating Thanksgiving today, I hope you have a, a very enjoyable yet safe holiday experience with friends and family. Now, when I was thinking about what I wanna review for Thanksgiving, specifically, I looked into my beer fridge and nothing really jumped out at me. But then I started thinking, you know, what is my favorite part of Thanksgiving food wise? And to me, it's the desserts. I love the desserts. I love me some pumpkin pie, some sweet potato pie, some pecan pie, apple pie, the whole nine. But I really love key lime pie. And my family focuses on cheesecakes a lot during the holidays. And I've had key lime pie a couple different times on Thanksgiving, but I've also had key lime cheesecake and it's delicious. So I thought I would review a key lime pie beer today and it comes from the Beer Tree Brew Company and they're out of both Port Crane and Johnson City, New York. And this is their layered, the key lime pie variant. So this is what they are calling a fruited parfait sour. It comes in at 7.3% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less in time of review. This can is approximately two months old. So I've never had anything in their layered series, but basically what I gather from this is, again, they call it a fruited parfait sour. So I believe these are all brewed with granola. I could not find the ingredients on this one, but based on on tap, I think all of them have granola. Now, if I had to guess, I would think there's key limes in here there's vanilla and there's graham cracker and probably granola for the parfait part. Who knows? But uh, again, when I was thinking about Thanksgiving beers, I was like, you know what, key lime pie. And even though there's a sour, this is like a dessert sour. So I don't know, hopefully this is delicious. I'm gonna give a little bit of a roll here. I don't think this is like the huge, heavily fruited smoothie uh, beers. I think this is gonna look kind of normal, but hopefully it tastes like key lime pie because again, I love me some key lime pie. Key, key lime pie uh, is great, but the cheesecake is really what I enjoy. So let's give it a pour here into the hashtag proper glassware. So yeah, this kind of looks like to me, like Westbrook's uh, Key Lime Pie Goza, kind of in that vein. Doesn't have that heavily fruited sour kind of look to it. Like I said, this kind of just looks like a, you know, a sour ale. Uh, actually, it kind of looks like an IPA. If you told me that was an IPA in a glass and I didn't know what I was drinking, sure. Uh, so it has this really nice honey yellow orange color, uh, very bright and vibrant in person on camera. It's gonna be looked a little bit more dulled out. It has a slight clarity, but it's mo mostly murky turbid, uh, but not super turbid. Uh, has about a half finger of this bright white head that is dissipating to, it's gonna probably be a thin film probably because of all the adjuncts in there. But yeah, it looks like, if you told me this was a key lime pie uh, sour, sure. If you told me this was an IPA, sure. I don't know, let's get a nose. Yeah, it smells like key lime pie to a fucking tea. Wow. It smells like a sour key lime pie. It's, it's like it's like the, the actual key limes they used in the pie were super sour and acidic. like ridiculously so you get the acidic acidic tart key lime but then over top of that vanilla like a whipped cream there's graham cracker here there's a little bit of that granola there's a nice sweetness but you can tell this is a sour of some sort i just want to smell this it fucking smells it smells like someone cut a piece of uh, key lime pie, but then they put like an actual like just slice of a key lime right on top. So when you go in, you smell the sweetness, but then you smell that acidic key lime kind of note. It smells fucking just honestly, this smells awesome. This I love, like I said, I love key lime. Uh, if you follow the channel or you know me, you know I love coconut. I, I just absolutely adore coconut, mostly in like barrels when it comes to beers, but I still love coconut in general. Key limes or key lime pie things are one of my favorite things in the in the universe, whether it's a beer or actual like a, a like they came out like key lime pie Kit Kats uh, within the last year or whatever. And I love those. I just love key lime pie. So I remember saying a long time ago, key lime slash key lime pie beers. I want to review as many as possible on the channel. So I'm so happy to get a chance to try another one. This smells fucking dynamite. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. And happy Thanksgiving. That's me all fucking day. That's me all day, sons. Sons. Daughter sons. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, this is tasty. So it's hitting, it's, it's checking every box that I want from a beer like this for the most part. 7.3%, it's a bit thin. This is like lower side of medium, maybe higher side of light. It's thin, but I don't mind it in a beer like this because 7.3% for a, a sour, pretty big. So this drinks more like a 5.5% beer. So 
I'm fine with it being thin, but it definitely is thin. The mouthfeel, because this is not a heavily fruited sour, it's not a smoothie, so it's not going to be soft, smooth, and creamy. I, I will say, though, hang on, now I'm thinking about it. It does say, the only thing that I forgot to mention on the label, it says contains lactose. So there is lactose in here, probably to bump up the sweetness, bump up the mouthfeel. But the mouthfeel, it's it's pretty crisp. It, it's ever fascinating. It's not really super soft, smooth, and creamy. Maybe a slight touch of a smoothness there. But the taste, this isn't one of those beers where front half of the palate, like if you watch my reviews, you know a lot of times I talk about like where a beer hits my palate. Like front, front half a lot of times is the malt sweetness and like the fruit concept. Back end of the palate is usually hops and different things going on, the, the acidity, tartness. This one, full on key lime pie flavoring throughout my entire palate. So we're talking key limes, they're acidic, they're tart, not overly sour, but they're definitely there. There's whipped cream, so vanilla, and the lactose kind of kicking up and making it like a whipped cream vibe. And there's an underlying graham cracker-esque kind of uh, malt kind of sensation to it, but it's probably coming from, I'd assume they brew this with, you know, throw graham cracker, brew it with graham cracker. It finishes higher side of tart, lower side of sour, so it does have a big... A decent blast of tartness, almost approaching sour for me. There's a, a medium, moderate uh, acidity on the back of the palate. I feel like once I'm done with this, uh, this can, I'm probably going to get heartburn, but I don't really care because it fucking tastes delicious. It tastes like someone took key lime pie, they, they you know, blended it up, they threw it in a beer, a sour beer, and that's what I'm tasting. It's, I think it's a beautiful marriage because key lime can be tart as is. It's even key lime uh, pie, you know, has that tartness from the, the custard filling. So this is just kind of, accentuating the lime flavor, I think, in this beer. I can't tell you 7.3% drinking extremely well from that aspect, but it's a key lime pie sour beer. N nothing more to it, but they kind of hit the nail on the head. So I think as far as like stylistically and what they're going for, I'm not really getting granola, getting more graham cracker than granola. But again, I don't know the actual ingredients in here other than lactose, but I think they did a pretty good job. Stylistically, it's like a 4.8 out of 5. Personal preference, it's not that far uh, behind it. I didn't think I was going to give this, this a crazy rating like this, but this is just fucking doing it for me. So layered the uh, key lime pie variant from Beer Tree. High 4.5 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.6 out of 5. It's fucking delicious. Like, I can't really say anything else about this. If you don't like sour beers, you're not going to like this one. But if you like sour beers and you like key lime pie, get you some of this, especially if you can get Beer Tree in your neck of the woods. I don't know their distribution and whatnot, which will bring me to price and availability price point. I think I paid like five fifty or six bucks for this can. I think they're like 20 to $24 a four pack wherever you see it. That's expensive. I get it, but it's 7.3%. They're probably brewing it with a lot of stuff. Key limes, vanilla, graham cracker, granola, whatever. I get it. Uh, I would prefer this to be no more than five bucks a can, but whatever. I think I paid like five fifty, five seventy five, five sixty nine, 69, something like that, whatever. Uh, which to me, as good as this beer is, I don't really care. Availability, like I said, I don't know where Beer Tree gets distro. I do know they're all over New York State. If you see them in your neck of the woods and you're not in New York State, let me know. Because I'd be curious if they're, they got any distribution outside of New York State. If not, then you got to be in New York State, which sucks. But at the same time, like, if you like Beer Tree stuff, you probably get your hands on it. So not much more to say about it. I think this was a perfect Thanksgiving beer. Um, maybe if it wasn't a sour, but I don't really care from that aspect. I just love the fact that I get the key lime pie flavoring in this one, and it's not too sweet. That's the key thing. You get a lot of sweetness from all those key lime pie flavors, but I think that firm to high tartness, along with the acidity on the back of the palate, breaks that up, stops it from being too sweet, balances it out to some degree. This has like a, a semi-dry kind of finish to it, but I think the acidity and the tartness stops, kind of balances out and stops from being too sweet. A lot of times the bitterness or the dryness will do that. I think in this case, it's the tartness and the acidity. So not much more to say about it. I appreciate everybody stopping by for another Beer Patrol review. I was gonna say beer review on Beer Patrol like I typically do, but then I just had a brain fart because that's what we do here. Uh, hopefully everybody, everybody out here who watches this uh, review and maybe you're watching it during Thanksgiving. Who knows? Maybe throw it. Throw me on the 70 foot or 70 foot. This is literally my second review of the day. And the first one was a four, four and a half percent longer. I think I'm just getting weak in terms of holding my alcohol. I think I'm just, I'm, I'm lightweight. I've always been a lightweight, but I'm even more so now. Uh, but hopefully you throw me up on the 70 inch television and be like, this guy reviews beers on YouTube and he's terrible at it because I am. Anyway, 
Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Have a good one. Have a safe holiday. Till the next one. Cheers.